I think for anyone who grew up in Adelaide, the festival centre is just part of our collective memory. It looks like an origami box. As a child, it looked like something I should be able to eat. It's very sharp edge clouds in front of the city. <laughs> and at night, it has lots of lights on and it's quite colourful. I think it's a bold building, especially for its time. Whilst 40 years has passed, they are still majestic, still striking. That folded um, structure is still uh, timeless to me, and, uh, and that's the mark of a, an enduring architecture. We were most fortunate getting a site like this one here on the edge of the river, which must be one of the best sites in the whole of the world. We started designing uh, this centre, the Festival Centre, in 1969. The feeling of the city at the time was one of a large country town. People didn't go out much at night. The arts were almost unknown. It was quite a provincial place. It was different from anything that's been built anywhere in South Australia. And I think the interesting thing is that it was the first version of a performing arts centre in Australia. People ask around the world, how is it that Adelaide managed to do this? Because it's got a workable, multi-purpose, 2,000-seat theatre. What they are able to do in, uh, on time and on budget and three months opening before the Sydney Opera House, I think is nothing less than amazing. When you walk in there, it feels like every part of the building's been built to make it sound good, and the acoustics in there are beautiful. It was built by Don Dunson's government to position the arts at the centre of Adelaide's cultural life. I would describe it as a game changer for Adelaide and when Adelaide grew up. I think it did change the way that um, South Australians saw themselves and probably the way that we were seen by the rest of the world. These buildings brought the world to us and eventually took us to the world. As you probably gather, I'm pretty proud of what it's done for Adelaide. The opportunity to change the face of a city doesn't happen often, and we're very fortunate when we get the opportunity to do it. it it's a sign, it's a symbol, it, it's an image of Adelaide, and so Adelaide is known by the image of this centre. I think it is a very important place because it entertains us and teaches us. Yeah, I, I, I can't really imagine Adelaide without it. I think it's a beacon for the arts in Adelaide, and that's why it's iconic. You know, the building's a flag in the ground saying, we care about culture, we, we celebrate it, we enjoy it, and we want it to be a part of our lives in a daily way. Mm -hmm.